Welcome to episode 75 of our Football Manager Hobo to Hero playthrough. 75 episodes. We might as well make it to 100, I guess. So, uh, the goal for today is to get through this match against Saravak, which uh, doesn't really matter, it's just friendly. Uh, so, I'm really hoping that nobody hurts themselves. And then uh, we will play the match against Perak at home. Perak are 8th in the league, and well, mm, the, re the result barely matters anymore, does it? I still expect Selangor to win at least uh, some of uh, their matches. Even that they have free in hand. So I think they'll be fine. Which, on the other hand, means we can basically um, think about uh, squad planning for the future. And about this issue. This is a problem. So we need to figure something out here. And that might even include some, uh, some players that are on non-contracts or something. We'll see. So, throw all of this out. And I think I will start by uh, going through the squad. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll wait until the end of the week. But uh, going through the squad, giving them feedback. I didn't do that last stream, funnily enough. So, uh, yeah. Kind of my thing, usually. But apparently I forgot about it. So, uh, we had a, a, I think this discussion is too much on the Discord today, about um, the quality of youth players, for example, and about a question, if we want to sign any of those, but more importantly, who can leave? And we came up with the conclusion that basically everyone can leave. So that's an issue. If we look at contracts, for example, Some of them don't have a contract, and some of them are expired. But the majority of uh, majority of these is on uh, twenty five euros, and there's barely anyone here that is under contract until twenty twenty six. The majority of them will either need to find a buyer, or we will need to throw them out, and that'll be hard. I don't think they will leave. Oh, uh, yeah. We might as well make them. Well. It's a, it's a bit early for this to... So let's look at it from the report um, perspective. Basically, I, I think we can be happy with uh, Malik, maybe. He could actually be a replacement for Ancon. I did want to look at that. Where is Mama Ancon? There. Well, or maybe not. But he has the technical skill. Um, the attacking he doesn't really need. If we. Um, Consider him to be somebody that plays in a more defensive role. Um, he is a better defender, though. Ankun is definitely not a not a defensive-minded player. So, yeah, maybe Melik is the better choice after all. On the other hand, his his overall passing stuff is not really great, so there's issues with that. And then there's a bunch of other players. Um, for example, Selamat here. Personality is great. He's 16 year olds only. But we might still have issues bringing him into the squad, basically. I don't think that'll work. Maybe if we loan him out and uh, get some playing time. But he's not good enough to be loaned out. We had issues loaning the other ones to, to, to our feeder club, too. So that's a problem. And looking at this, Chahari, for example. Do we have a development report? No, we don't. But there's barely any development here. And he made a whole 18 appearances, apparently, for SSTMI in whatever league. I don't know. Not loaded, I think. Or, well, it doesn't exist. 
So, yeah, um, we we need to pull some weeds, basically, and uh, get rid of a bunch of players and preferably not sign any new ones. So, assuming we get rid of players for 500 euros a week and also um, maybe we get an increase in reputation as uh, Mies uh, suspects, then maybe we stand a chance of turning the, the things around That's here. That's a great idea! Wow. Hi. <laughs> financially. Uh, turning things around financially. So, uh, <laughs> apparently, placing the stickers on the screen is a feature that um, you very much like, Jaranova, don't you? Now you can do all sorts of stuff with my face here. <sighs> so, this friendly needs to be stuffed with players that need to sharpen us. He's injured. Bakrula is not 100% sharp, Amart, Amat is not 100% sharp, Montnora isn't either. I guess Ghazali can play. I very much like the fact that you like it, if it makes sense. I think it's a good feature, in general. Um, it also helps people to um, not to obfuscate whatever they want to watch. Obviously, if, um, you know, if people are... Um, go into this with the prospect of trolling and uh, interrupting the stream, then it's a different uh, thing, but we don't have issues with that here, so me personally, I don't see an issue. Uh, well, it's one little pick up. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. <laughs> this, is, this is one of my favorite memes, by the way. The, the original, obviously, not the sticker. But the meme, I love this one. As, uh, as a well, former software developer, I might add at this point. But as a software developer, this very much speaks to me. By the way, what's wrong with the lighting? What did I do? Does it work? Yes, that's better. And now, um, give me a second. Holy hell, I'm a professional. Don't have something to drink, lighting's wrong. What did I set this up for? Now you tell me the other one was better. <laughs> that's, that's usually how it goes. Thanks Chris for setting all of this up, but uh, it's bullshit. Can you please <laughs> switch to get the big light on the, uh, back on again? Ouch! Don't do that to me! I don't deserve this. Better. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, I set it up for sharpness. What did I forget? We need a right back. Well, we need somebody to play as a right back. So let's use a mod, because I don't care. Kamarudin's also available. I guess I don't care about Kamarudin for sharpness right now. It's available for, for winger position. Well, let's just use uh, Van Lal Pekka Guit. I'll be fine. And Harsi is available, so he plays. That's better. That's all I'm willing to do for the friendly. Let the assistant manager do with, uh, deal with the rest. Or in our case, the head of youth development, I think. Uh, no staff, no matches. No problem. Uh, it's not that far away. We will get there today. Um, next match is, is against Perak. So, a bit more than a week? Yeah, eight days. Well, we, we skipped over one already. So, it was nine days at the start of the stream. So, we will have a match that matters. Because, well, season's basically over, right? Kamarudin will be suspended. Yeah, that will not happen.
Nobody wants more Chalil. Okay, it's about the money though. Nice. We'll ask the agent about market interest. I believe I can bring to the table one or more offers worth around 3.5k for my client at the current transfer market. Nice. Uh, so I think Malik should be well extended as uh, he still has one year contract left. So in, in the case of Malik, that's the best of, of them all, I think. Um, in the case of Malik, I think we should um, nail it down, for lack of a better term right now. Um, so it makes sense to give him a reasonable contract. In case of all the other ones, I think we should just let them leave. If we can. But I would also just uh, want to loan them out, or I don't know, just get rid of them somehow. And I will go through your recommendations, I think. But um, um, no promises that I will follow through um, exactly the, the way you uh, recommended it on the Discord. So maybe, um, maybe it's better to keep the money and replace them with something from the transfer market at some point. I don't have a strong opinion on it right now. And I have no issues with selling to Kalantan, yeah. Great. So the agent set the value to 3.5k. No, um, I, I don't think this is how it works or I misunderstand. My assumption was that the youth grant. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Um, that, that's true. So as long as they are young enough, I get a part of it, um, a part of their wages uh, paid by grants. That's correct. It's still a ton of money that's uh, split in the way. So I don't know. So, it's not 25 euros a week, it's 18 or something effectively. I, I'm too lazy to do the math right now. But it's still significant. But you are correct. There, there's a... There's a, a a cashback bonus, basically, for having them employed. They actually offer 3.5k. Do we accept this as it is? For Mochalil? He still has a whole year of contract. Yeah, well, something like this, yes. I'm, as I said, I'm too lazy to do the math right now, but yeah, something like this. There's a 25 a week, is 200 a week. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I didn't wait for the second part of the message, but correct, yes. It's true. It's still a ton of money. So it, it really depends on the value generated, doesn't it? So assuming, for example, we could resell them, um, I would happily pay for that. No issues. But the quality of our youth intake is not good enough, with the exception of that one notable uh, guy, and maybe Malik. So we, we need to wait a little bit. All right. Um, I guess I will need to sell Mochali myself. So they want to offer 3.5k, okay? I'm very happy. With a 5% clause. And maybe 3.6 overall. 
How about that? They're fine with it. Okay. Runs back. And there's a bunch of youth candidates that are evaluated. So that's all. Razak Muhammad is supposed to be one of the better ones. Hmm. So this one is not part of the recommendation list the journal created. I'm not sure though. I think the physicals are not, if not impressive, they are okay for now. Teamwork and work rate are lackluster. He does have some flexibility, balanced personality, and outspoken. So the outspoken is definitely um, a negative. On the bubble meaning, um, he's on the on the verge of, um, well, going this way or that way. You're not sure about it. Is that a way I, I need to interpret this? I think the technical skill, well, the, the passing is a bit lackluster. First touch and technique seem to be fine. He's aggressive. On the yeah, on the that's that's a better uh, that's a better term. Yes. I like that one. So, um, I need to make a decision though. If we were to get him into the club, what would the role be? Yeah. What would the role be? I guess that's my question. Because um, this is one of these players that is, uh, well, supposedly, um, we can loan him out. I, I just assume. If he develops even a little bit, we can probably loan him out. He's 16 years old, so chances are he will develop at least a tiny amount. We do need to keep him uh, on, on under contract until he's 17, though. Yeah, or, or we need to pay him until he's 17. Hmm, okay. Yeah, he's not he's not really better on defend or on support. So both of them are possible as a ball winning midfielder. He's not really strong. Mm, well, I I think this is the we need to make decisions at some point, and uh, th we're only going in uh, through signings now. So he might be the only one that I want to sign anyway. Um. Look, so Kerry Liero is unlikely to be played in our formation, and I'm unlikely to, to pick one. Um, also, it doesn't use his physical, so I don't think that's a good idea. The strength might improve in the future, um, same as the jumping reach to a degree. But he definitely has what's needed for a more defensive-minded player overall, on, on the level of a 16-year-old, obviously. Box to boxes. It's, I, I guess it's all a little too little. It's not focused enough for me. That said, Diego does it well with a similar skill set. So, not sure. All right. Sure, we can do that. But that's easier, isn't it? Because Mod Nazir here, for example, what did you say? Nazir might become a backup pressing forward, you wrote. I guess my question... So, uh, I like the versatility. 
but there's a ton of ones in here. And for me, usually a ton of ones implies that there's no potential in him. Teamwork is fine. Work rate is good. Personality isn't that bad. Yes, but also they, they will remain on the 3 or 4 level. So pressing forward, I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Also, um, <laughs> in case Mies watches this later on, he has one point of concentration. Uh, he will probably ridicule me for saying that. But one point of concentration is not exactly a, a good sign. I have been burned recently. True, that's true. Still, um, I'm not sure what to do with him. And I guess the issue here is... Well... Where's Elbuck? He's ways off. He's also ways off in comparison to, obviously, Oleg's Rai. And he's always ways off, uh, he's also ways off in comparison to Juan. So, we have three options that would be better. Don't we? And some of them are really, really young. So do we need a 15-year-old to replace two 18-year-olds and a 26-year-old? Does this make sense? I mean, it's very likely that we will find somebody else that plays. And see, from that perspective, I, I think it's a waste of money. We will have an, yet another 15-year-old that will take him uh, his spot instead next year but we also have like 10 or 15 years between uh to well for one as well as for um whatever the name was olex olex right so i think that both of these are very much more likely to play than he will uh than him he will not make an appearance that's the same in a role as a shadow striker we will just find better so I think it's a waste of money and a waste of time, sorry. That's not to say I do not want to sign anyone, I just think the, the competition in his position is way too high. Um. Hi, welcome to the stream. Oh, Karim. So Khalil Abdul Karim has, this, has a similar issue, I think. Hmm. Have a look. You actually didn't pick him, did you? So, nope, nope. I'm not watching any football today. That's why I play Football Manager. But if you want to, feel free to watch that match. Well. I mean, okay. <laughs> I guess that's a positive. I do not expect the German national team to do well, though, in the future. Then again. I, I don't know. I, I don't very much about international football. I'm just the wrong person to talk about this stuff, I guess. Uh, like, I'm I'm vaguely aware, obviously, of what happens, but... German international team has been all over the place for years. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Would you take a bet on that? I doubt it. Well, now, now that they have some Stuttgart players, maybe it might work. Yes. Also, they have a decent manager these days. So, yeah. Give, give him another year or two. Then maybe. The Euros? I don't know. Uh, of all the people. Well, he, he might. 
don't know. Young players are not um, very consistent, or they are not known to be very consistent, so I'm not sure if I would follow through with that. But obviously you can have your, your own opinion. And, uh, well... Okay, I see. Um, well, to be fair, in comparison to the other guy, he has very good mentals and a good finish. Good technique, heading's decent, acceleration is a bit low, but we can deal with that. That's not too bad. He's a, an acceptable player, actually. And I think I want to compare him to the other guy. Nazir to Karim. So, looking at this, I do not understand why you would want to sign Nazir. Does it make sense? I, I don't get it. Obviously, I'm at, a, at an advantage here because I can't compare them, uh, you know, in the comparison menu and you just had a Discord uh, screenshots. But um, you, you understand my doubt about Nazir now? Physical side is barely any different. True. But I still prefer players that are more capable than in this situation. Well, it, I'm just looking at the aggregate, really. In this situation, I would very much prefer uh, Karim because he's more capable overall. You seem to hate poachers. I don't hate poachers. I hate the fact that poachers don't work for the rest of the team. Like, um, I, it's it's possible to play with a poacher, but I prefer teams where I, I guess everyone needs to contribute in all phases of play in my teams. Yeah, true, true. I'm, I, I agree with that. That's that's definitely uh well an issue of mine. But then then again, a good poacher can carry a team. I'm very uh, very aware of that. So it's not like I um. I don't think poacher does not work. I do think a poacher can work just fine. I'm just not the guy to um construct the own formations using a poacher usually. With exceptions, but that rarely happens. It would it would need to be somebody that is uh, I don't know, very fast and uh, with a really really good finish and really good mentals and the rest of it is absolute shit. Because um, otherwise I would I would use him in another another way. That's the same with Karim, by the way. Um, I think he has a good finish, and so on and so forth. But there's other options for him. So I would probably to. To give him a, a broader set of play, um, or, or of a broader set of skill, I would probably train him on another um, role, not as a poacher, say pressing forward, and make him... I'm just picking something at random, by the way. Um, in an, an effort to try to make him something that is more well-rounded. Because this seems very focused to me. And a little bit of vision, a little bit of physical skill, even some defending might probably not hurt him. In his role as some striker. Anyway, um, so... For me, not Nazir, but maybe Karim. Hi, welcome back to the stream. So, um, I guess I will sign him. If we look at this comparison, that's sad. Oh, we're not, not sure if we absolutely need him. He's also fairly determined and level-headed, so that's not too bad. The other one has worse personality. So we'll use him as a youngster, that's true. And 25 is fine. Who's next? Samani. Was he on your list? Would keep as a backup goalkeeper option.
backup goalkeeper option. What was the weirdest outfit you could do? What's the alternatives here? We have Hamza and Rumley. So let's compare them to the both to them both. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's the one with one meter ninety. You're correct. No, all the mod. What what the hell does this word mean, man? Yeah, it's a, it's about it's about the word after Russian. I don't know what it means though. It's a member of a delinquent subculture in Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and other former. Apparently, it's the uh, it's it's degrading towards working class people. I wasn't aware. Yeah, I, I got that. I'll allow it. So, um, this is fine. I realize that you're, well, no, let's not be racist. Um, I, but I guess, uh, we, we are on the same, uh, you know, level about this. Well, um, <laughs> how do I put this? <laughs> For a country that, um, politically speaking, is in the process of eradicating, apparently, um... I'll allow this too. <laughs> anyway, for, for, for a country that is um, in the process of apparently eradicating uh, Nazis, as they say, um, in another country that they invaded, they sure have a lot of right-wing tendencies in their own country. So, um... You know, propaganda can go all the way, you know, wherever you want it to be. That said, um, I would be very happy if they could just get the fuck home um, in general and uh, leave other countries at, uh, alone. That would really help. I, I realize, let's not discuss this. Um, I, I went way too far into it anyway, but, you know... It's kind of obvious to everyone in the West, and probably also throughout the rest of the world. So, whatever. <laughs> By the way, welcome back, Mies. Uh, uh, I'm I'm not sure. I like the height height too. So what do we do with him? Anticipation is fairly low. Concentration is fairly low. That said, he's re he's young, so that's to be expected. He's level-headed at least. Combination with the unambitious. Is this worth twenty-five euros a week? Or more importantly, if we compare him to Hamza, well, he's bad. Okay, or is he? Yeah, so he's better than Hamza. Okay, cool. So Hamza is trash. We knew that. Fantastic. Who's the other young goalkeeper? Go away. It was him. And there's also a guy named Rumley, Yasmi, and Kumar. So let's compare him to Rumley. Nah, here I'm conflicted. His, his aerial reach is a little bit better. But for the rest of it, eccentricity is higher. I don't care about that. So what do we do with this? That's... I, I mean, he's two years older. So I guess Rumley is the better one. He's also fairly pro, I very much prefer that. And he's 1 meter 92. Um, he wasn't in the sample by the way, he's in the under 21s. So... 
I, I would go about it like this, Jiren Nolot. I do not think it's worth paying 25 euros a week for whatever his name was, Samani. Um, given that we have somebody else in the under 21s that's only two years older, has better personality and a better skill set. Also, track record, if I might add. Well, barely any, but something. So I would argue we would use the, him instead. Does this make sense? I'm hoping that I make sense. I, I rarely do. <laughs> Most likely. So, no Tsamani. I will not follow your, um, your perspective on this. But I hope uh, you, you understand why. So, he can leave. Jacob. Unambitious winger. Is Jacob in the sample you recommended? Not really. So, do I want to use him? I do like the fact that he's pacey and has crossing and dribbling. That's rare. The rest of it is bullshit. He is level headed, I like that. Um Who's Hassan? Apparently one of the players that we have. So let's compare him to Hassan for a second. I guess it's the fairest comparison that we can find right now. And well. The two year gap. He's fairly determined and media friendly, so not exactly a good personality either. Decent. Not impressive though. Oh, by the way, I didn't I didn't really follow through with the dress code thing. Why the hell did he dress like this? Was there some sort of a party? I just missed it. Uh well, okay. So say it's a winger on attack. Wow, he has one point of anticipation for a winger. That's quite the thing. Well, I, I would argue I'm not convinced. So forget about Jacob. If I'm not convinced, it's probably better to, to leave him. Ali. That's one I'm uh, probably more convinced. Just due to the fact that he's fairly ambitious. The problem is, that's all he has. <laughs> oh no! This is horrible! Don't do that to me. <laughs> I get a German battle rap. The, the only rap I can endure is uh, the electric cowboy stuff. And that's, I'm, I'm not sure if this counts as a rap these days. Probably uh, partially. The rest of it is uh, screaming and uh, slaughtering pigs or something. Which is fine. Also, it comes from uh, Castro Proxel. So, uh, Mies will very much like it, obviously. Due to a geographic, uh, you know, whatever it's called. You actually like it? That's fantastic. I'm I'm not really a big fan of this kind of music, I would argue, but I'm a big fan of the way... Oh, you know the city. Well, in case you want to hear some, some screening and, uh, screaming and some absurd uh, composition of music, feel free to just um, listen to some electric callboy at some point. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm not an expert. Talk, talk to a real talk channel about that. I have no idea. So what do I do, do, I do with this guy? Nothing, right? He's, he, he might develop or not. I don't know. Um, that's, it's not worth 25 euros a week. So go away. Sorry, man. This one... Very pacey, very high natural fitness, which is good. I enjoy that. He's unambitious though. First touch is decent, leadership is okay, the rest of it is inexistent. I mean, aggression. That doesn't help him in any way. Pressing forward position is well taken within our squad, we just don't need him. 
Shadow Striker, no freaking way. I will not repeat my own mistakes. So, uh, that's a big no. I didn't even look for the recommendations of Sharon Allen. You thought he is? No. That's him. Okay. This one. Goalkeeper problematic thing. He's 1 meter 96, by the way. He's even taller. Same here, though. He has bad per personality. We have somebody with a better personality um, as a backup goalkeeper. And I just don't need him. He's not worth 25 right now. This one, though, came with a recommendation. Uh, to, be, to be honest, I wasn't. I, I have no idea about any of this. That's probably because I think um, any kind of spoken music to me is an element of music that I like overall. So, um, that's a bad example, but uh, what's it called? Give me a sec. Um, there's there's this old uh, uh, old uh, emo whatever band uh, falling in reverse. I never really listened to any of the, their stuff, but I very much like Watch the World Burn, for example, and that contains a bunch of rapping and uh, I don't know spoken music, but it also contains you know breakdowns like proper music should, at least to me. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm probably the wrong person to talk about this. And I also very much like um, one specific album by a band named Third Strike. But the, the singer died like 15 years ago. Um, uh, the record title is uh, called, uh, I think it's Lost Angel. Um, I'm, I'm very much a fan of that specific record. But that's about it for folk music to me. So uh, I hope you forgive me. I will not follow the whole conversation here because I can't contribute. Uh, what do I do with this one? So he might grow a little bit. He's on the recommendation list by Jerry Nollet. What do you guys say? Is he worth 25 euros a week? In particular, if we compare him to, say, our other central defenders, well, he's not good either. So that's probably not a fair comparison, but he's better in the air at least. Uh, what's the other one? Modnor, right? Where is he? Modnor. Close enough. Same here, he's not that bad, but that tells us more about Matnor, doesn't it? Yeah, and in particular on the technical side, uh, I guess Matnor is way better. So what's going on here? Hmm. Not much to say. So I, I think I will uh, take a pass here, he's unambitious. Don't want him in the job. He's unambitious, volatile, and confrontational. No. But you didn't know that. So, um, yeah. In that case, I will forgi forgive you your assessment, your knowledge, because I have a gracious day. <sighs> volatile, media friendly, confrontational. I, I don't want him in the squad. Obviously, his personality might change. Dribbling one is really bad. <sighs> also, ball movement's also really, really low. I think I'll take a pass. So, that leaves us with this one person here. I offered a contract to somebody here, didn't I? Not sure who it was. One, one of them. Mohamato. Ah, well. But now that Mises is around and the real tall channel uh, is there too, maybe we can have second and third opinion. It's about 25 euros a week, I suspect. Would you sign this guy? We do play with a ball winning midfielder. 
from time to time. Do you think he can develop maybe? So that's a no. What about real talk channel to, uh, channels assessment? What do you think? Okay, that's a yes. Well, there is no knowing here. I do not see Malik as a ball winning midfielder, but uh, okay. Where the hell is he? He probably has a double or triple name. Abdul Malik. That's the correct one. So, you are correct. Malik is better at defending. Funnily enough, Razak Momad is uh, currently faster and has better attacking and technical skills. I did not expect that. Why is that? Better first touch and technique, passing worse. Overall, a little bit better on the technical side, mental side is worse. Physical side is a little bit better, but he has no balance whatsoever. Thanks, man. I need that. I'm also back to cope, by the way. Yes. I guess it all I guess it all comes down to the question will he develop to say one and a half star to be loaned out and basically work for free. And I think I given the starting skill set and the versatility, uh, versatility um I think I get all your all of your reasons and I'm very thankful for the feedback. But I think in this case I will do a signing. So that brings it to two players, right? By the way, thanks for uh, reminding me to drink. I needed that. Um so that brings it down to two players, if I recall correctly. But I will definitely not pay him 30. What? You serious? Fuck off, no. No way. This I will not do. Okay. Bye. There we go. So, um, that, that basically settled it for me. He wasn't worth 65 euros a week. Not yet. Scouting's finished for summary. Okay. I do not have a strong opinion on that, other than he's with Bukit Tamboon for an extended period of time, and I think we can remove him from the shortlist, given that he's, uh, well, he's done. I don't want him in the squad anymore, in particular not at the end of his contract. Um, so, until 28, that would be in two years. In two years, he's 28 years old. I will not sign a 28-year-old winger. So, I'll remove him from the shortlist. Mm, well, it depends on the player level. Um, you, you know, on on the on the quality of the match experience they see, and uh, I'm usually one to be really low. Um, on the on the match experience uh, order, uh, this is still not a good league. As a result, they decline even earlier. Well, maybe. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Actually, I might be wrong about that. Come to think of it, because they need less match experience to to sustain a lower level of skill, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the overall quality of the players is also really bad. Uh not interested, am I? Maslan. 
and uh, not too bad, but I think the wage was way too high. No, well, it isn't anymore. He's uh, fairly susceptible to injuries. He is a Malaysian player. The issue is we have an attacking midfielder. Could do as a backup, but we do not need to pay a backup 150 euros. We could afford it, but I do not want to. Okay, so how does it turn out? Did you win Champions League for like seven times now? I'm looking for... Where the hell is he? I can't recall the name. Juan. What's his last name? He's not part of the squad yet, that's why I don't find him. Maslan versus Juan Serbin. No! <laughs> I just don't want to, to throw out that amount of money in that case. So we will not. Thank you. And we will also remove him from the shortlist. I do not need him. And then there is Bond. Is Bondi? I do not know anything about this guy. Well, to be fair, cup competitions like the Champions League are... They contain a bunch of randomness. Just due to the fact that there's not that many matches played. So, um... I don't know. Is, is this law of small numbers? More randomness and small numbers? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the, the, the law of large numbers describes uh, results approaching their average probabilities as they increase, increase in sample size. So it's the inverse. Yeah, that, that makes sense, more or less. Well, but that's... Is this entirely within the realm of expectation? Oh. Well, but, but long term... Um, effects that uh, I don't know. Um, I, I guess that compound might uh, be visible at this point. So maybe um, spending all that money. Hmm. But maybe spending all that money doesn't really uh, result in a in a reasonable um, wage structure or skill set in the club. Oh, okay. So they they basically fucked up the transition. I, I guess uh, you you threw the management to um, I don't know an assistant manager or um, whatever. Um, just simulated it. However, that works. So some decline is to be expected, I guess. On the other hand, Man City they they probably have all the money in the world, even in in uh, within the realm of this game. Uh, okay. Abidino doesn't like the training sessions. Well, and I do not like your face. Well, <laughs> I guess cheap is uh, a question of the eye of the beholder. Oh no, we could lose Anku and we're aware of it. He wants too much money. Mochalildo is willing to leave for 3.6k joining Kelantan. And the transfer would go through at the end of December. That's great. Let's have a look at the schedule again. Last match is at the 12th of December, so uh, he will stick with us for the remainder of uh, the season. And afterwards, we can uh, think about this. If the board doesn't object this time. It is a matter of urgency. We want him to use less money.
Yep. I'm very happy with this. Actually, the agent helped a lot. I asked the agent. And that was it. That's the one that hates me. Where is his agent? Can we find this somewhere here? His agent should be somewhere. Where do I find this? Under information, obviously. He still hates me. Okay. Great. 316 goals and 99 assists in 469 games. I guess for Haaland, that's, that's low. <laughs> Well, he might he might have been hurt from time to time or something, or really exhausted. But uh, I I think the AI is not exactly known for resting players that well in Football Manager. Not sure how it is this installment, but it has been an issue recently. Okay, Mochali leaves, and we get three point six k for him, and a five percent sell on clause, which will not matter anyway. But I was willing to let him leave. Who else? Well, that might also happen in real life. Who knows? By the way, did I, did everyone see Olex just yet? I'm really hoping that we can use him in the future. Oh, he trains well. Fantastic. This guy. How the hell do we deserve Mahazir? Just perfect. I won't talk to the others until uh, match day is coming in. Okay, so th this is exactly what I expected. Oh, this is the PLM Malaysia there. That's not... That's not the, the um, leak, sadly. So... We signed one player. Who was it? I forgot already. He retired with an overall of 68. 68 what? 6.8? I I suspect that's that's way too low. Karim. Yeah. I, I, that's true. Oh. Oh, you're talking about a very different game. I see. I, I didn't realize it's FIFA manager. Yeah, I have no idea about that. I, I don't touch anything that uh, comes with EA on top of it. Or Origin. Or actually, I don't hate EA. I just don't want Origin on my on my computer. So, uh, yeah. Or anything that uh, is remotely uh, resembles DRM. I can barely tolerate Steam. I would want to get rid of Steam at the first glance, too. So, if, if I don't know, if SI for some reason at some point decide to um, do a GOG release, um, I would probably uninstall Steam immediately. There's a few contracts that expire. Well, we are aware of that. So, big issues though. Um, Norman Anku, we did try to offer a contract. It was way too expensive. 425 and 500. And that's... That's not gonna happen. I doubt that. He is open to speaking to other clubs. So, honest question. Do we want to sell him? 
I mean, his contract runs out. There's no clause. He wants between 425 and 500. There's two ways to go about this. Way one. We try to get 500 euros for him or something. I don't know. But... Uh, I don't know. Can you see this? Well, there you go. That's better. Um, <laughs> well, mathematically speaking, yes. If Selangor lose everything, most likely. Statistically speaking, big no. Because, well, Selangor will just win the league. So you think that that's worth it? Let him walk at the end of his contract also comes with the added bonus of maybe he wants 150 euros um, after all, if we wait for a while. True. That's true. Upsetting the rest of the squad would be really bad. So, yeah, you are correct. Uh, moving on. What do we do with Mazarin? Similar issue. Masrin won. I think he wanted 350 or something. And according to this report, he's a good player to Liga and pre sides. Well, if you're if you're regularly um, worried about being spied upon, um, I don't know. You you must have really important stuff, because <laughs> uh, you know. To be a worthy target comes first, usually. In Baru's case, I'm not sure if I agree with that. I think Baru wants a wage that's low enough that I would actually reconsider... Uh, uh, that I would, I would actually consider signing him again. Also, um, this is all bullshit. Um, his contract will extend uh, by itself anyway. He did the 15 matches. Yeah, way more. So, his contract will be extended by uh, for an additional season, be as soon as we avoided relegation. I don't know why we didn't avoid relegation mathematically just yet. But there should be a one-year extension after 15 lead games, and he had, he had those. And it's the same with Baru, if I recall correctly. That's the contract here. Yeah, he made those five games. So, we will have him for another uh, 85. I guess the question is, can we negotiate an additional contract that is very similar, but with less bonuses, for example? So, it's a question of opportunity. And I do not think he will be a great winger anytime soon. On the other hand, well, I don't think so. But he isn't bad. He has an agent these days, though. Let's discuss a new contract with the agent, at least. He still hates me. 190 to, to 230. I will contest this. 180 to 220. That's still too much. So I'll agree with this and don't do anything. Staff contracts expire. Okay. Let me read this. Uh... <laughs> uh okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm 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 not sure if I want to or should comment on any of this. Um I I guess you know, I can't touch your situation. So Maybe better not to do it. I'm I'm trying to get wise with age, but with uh, well, not that much success so far. So Moda is for thirty euros. Um, that would be okay. 
But on the other hand, the skill set is fairly low. Does he do anything else than, uh, other than being under a 19 manager? Not really. Does the under 19 need this manager? Not really. So he can probably leave. We can delay this, but he can probably leave this. This is an issue. So we cannot sign new stuff. So we might as well extend his contract. And I do not think we will find a fitness coach on this level. Oh, he wants more money there. 240. Funnily enough, we can offer him 250. We just can't offer it to, to new stuff. So he wants 240. We'll start with 200. And try to make it to um, maybe 230. Yes, you will love this. A slight reduction in wage. That's totally fine. I like that. Youth contract set to expire. Oh, okay. So now we're going into the meat of things. We'll start at the top. Why not? Parsing has enough time on his current contract, it says. <laughs> well. Uh, he managed to decline right at the end of his contract. And if I look at this progress overall, he even got some playing time, didn't he? Okay, he got one appearance. So the issue here is most likely that we promoted him to the senior squad at some point. For, I don't know, mentoring reasons or something. I do not need to fire him immediately, but, uh, well... I guess the question is, are we better off signing somebody else that can do this job? Or are we better off um, running him into a month-to-month uh, -month contract? So, do we want to get a 5% clause, or do we want to keep him for 25 euros? Any opinions on that? He certainly didn't play much this season, given that Kamarudin was around, and it is unlikely to change next season. Well, I think Fickle is not the worst personality around. But yes, we could let him go. Um, any other opinions on that? But the rest is, well, Real Talk channel apparently uh, is more focused on FIFA, so I guess it's uh, down to me's. If I get another opinion. Or maybe Mies me is not listening right now. Or... Yeah, whatever. He, he's probably listened to, listening to some, to some really good electric cowboy. Don't like him. Alright. So that's two voices for get the fuck out of our club. If we can. Does he have an agent? He doesn't. There's also no market interest. Oh, uh, we set him on the transfer list, don't we? Can we do this? We can't even transfer list him. Why is that? Well, Tidy. Same position, different personality. He's level headed, though. Yep, I, I got that. The development here seems to be a little bit better. But... There's no real development to speak of. And he's been with the club since 24. So, in my book, this is also a case of let him leave. He's very, very weak in some areas, in particular the off-the-ball movement and the dribbling. Sure, we could play him as a wingback on defend, but we don't play like this. Obviously, that could change, but I, I don't think so. I like the stamina and, uh, well, the acceleration. Pace is a bit low. 
that uh, and that would probably be fine, but the rest of it isn't good enough either. I'll offer him uh, via transfer room. If I can. Can't set a status here. But I guess I'll try to sell you. Jafar, I will not I will not discuss this just because he's a casual. He can have all the potential in the world. Yeah, I, I get that. No, and I think you're right about that. So I want to sell him. Is there the option to hire an intermediary? Nope. Kumar. Goalkeeper. I think Disney Kumar was on your list, wasn't he? Nope. Never mind, he wasn't. Well, um, I have, a hard, I have a hard time commenting on that Real Talk channel, but for most people, there's um, there's a sample of um, individual how do I put this a, a value system. So um, your value system obviously changes throughout time, but mine didn't change much in the last year or two, and to to think about one's values um, can be worth, uh, worthwhile sometimes, at least to me. But that's just my experience. Anyway, this guy's trash. I don't want him. And then there's Modisha. Uh, well. Okay. He trained as a pressing forward recently. That did help. Well, he declined technically and the rest of it went up. It was horrible. I don't know. But he's a striker. We have way better. So I would definitely be willing to let him leave. Go. I didn't. Nobody was there. I'll decline this interview. Go away. Well, my, I, you you told us about being into into politics and stuff. Uh, it was American studies, right? Uh, something like that. I I guess I'm just not qualified um, to comment on most of it. There's people that are way more qualified than I am, so. I don't really know what to say. That makes sense. A loss of 1.3k. I'm barely qualified to talk about money. Uh, I think we did. Let's take a look at this. The one against Sabah, this one. Well, n no, we didn't because it was away from home. Yes, we would have. Then again, our home match against Sabah saw 1,254 people. So that's not too bad. But it doesn't exactly fill our stadium. It fills theirs though. I guess it might have to do with the size of Cushing. Actually, does anyone know the amount of people that are in Cushing? Like, inhabitants? Okay, we don't have key findings, obviously. We don't have a performance analyst because, well, there is none. Badrul Hisham is very creative as a defender, that's good to know. That's somebody that could, de could use with, uh, a contract. Um, they are not willing to come, it's too far to travel. So... I it seems like Borneo is really not expensive. What's the objective for um, a, a big expanse? It's vast. Whatever. Uh, yeah, well, but the, 
the cities are well separated. There's there's a, a big gap between them. Haba um are located way to the east, and we are. Yes, we are to the west. I'm always confused with uh, by the way with um with directions, uh, northeast, south, and west. So the, the, if I, if I do something like this, it's usually because I try to visualize. Um, for some reason, I I have no problems with right and left. But I always have problems with, well, not north and south, but east and west for some reason. Yeah, true, but apparently it's the same within Borneo. We basically have Cushing um, as a choice, and, uh, well, our, our siblings, Club Sarabak, and that's it. The other ones, they all consider it way too, uh, um, way too much. So we will take on Perak apparently, and I will tell them I want a summary on Tuesday. All right. I didn't even look. Norm might be back. Carlos da Costa Lima is hurt now. We're, okay, he, he's got a cold. Who cares? Nobody cares about the cold. It might spread within the squad, but we don't have a physio. Youth contract trials expire. We did not offer anything to anyone. This one was really bad, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, who cares? And there's still a follow-up for Baru. So... He hates me. We will keep it that way. He wants a regular start. I think he's a French player. We will suggest that. And I will walk away from this and he can keep his current contract. I don't think he's worth 200 euros. I like Baru overall. But I like him and the role he has right now. Being cheap. Intolerable. You you need this kind of player, I think, sometimes. Loan stats. We don't care, do we? So this is our youth intake. Apparently I did do a few signings earlier on. Um that might have been last stream. So we're going down going down to five. That's not too bad. And obviously, Oleg's Rai is, uh, well, he's just a league on his own. Trials finish, sure. Bye. Nobody wants Abidin. Because... Kilantan would be willing to get him. Doesn't have. He doesn't have an agent, so I can't ask the agent. I guess he still has a whole year of contract. Okay, I'll I'll try to convince him. All right, he wants to stay. So if he wants to stay, he can stay, and we we will try to loan him out. I will not try to force him. Okay. Apparently that didn't work. We can't talk about these issues, apparently. This is why you don't talk to your players. Fine. Next match is against Perak at home. I do not want to go attacking. That didn't work well last time. Okay. So... Is the choice as easy as I think it is? Maybe. Chinsi Sum. Definitely. Elbuck. Definitely. This one is Ankun's job. This one is Diego's. Zakaria back here. That's usually Baru. What kind of formation do we face? Okay. So it's Harsi time, I guess. He. Didn't have that much playing time recently anyway. 
but that's fine. Bajral Hisham here, Mazarin here. Depends a little bit, but well, not really. We don't know anything about Mazarula. That's a 17 year old, I don't know anything about either. So I guess standard formation would be something like this. I tend to switch these from time to time. I don't really have a rule for that though. Um, that's it. Not Jalil on the bench. So, Halim made it back from his injury. That's good. Uh, Kamarudin's not available. Uh, can he do left back? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we need a central defender. That's usually him for me. Oh, we also have a left back, actually. Parsing. Uh, Olex can't play. Juan can't play. Christopher definitely needed. Amad is needed. Da Costa Lima not really. This one, though. Yes. Like this. That leaves us, I guess, with one Lalpeka. Form player rules are not violated. We could bring Ahmad instead of uh, Manor. Does this make sense? Barely. I also think Manor needs to leave the club next season for a loan or something. We got really lucky this season, though, with Fakrula and uh, Mahazir. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot something. I did forget something. And that's really important. We need to improve morale a little bit for the next match at least. So I will flick through these as fast as I can. Um, well, don't really want to talk about it, but maybe about the conduct. It's been a while since we had the opportunity. Um, there, there might have occurred one. A minute ago. So I will I will do one uh, right prior to the match as always. Um, to be honest, I um I don't watch the ad uh, scheduler that much anymore. If it uh, doesn't obstruct the match, you probably uh, noticed. So um yeah, I will. Yeah, you you do that. All fine. Um, I will do some some additional opposition instruction stuff and so on anyway. His form isn't good enough for the first team, I think. Right. Definitely perfect conduct so far. No issues there. Uh, that's okay. Dark Costa Lima. Did play in the friendly. He's injured. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. This is fine. Thanks, Diego. You trained well. Problem is, you're still in decline. That's actually an issue. We we need to deal with this somehow at some point. I'm open to suggestions. And most likely, it will not include a youth player. 27 and in decline. I don't know what to say. He even got better match experience, by the way. Well, well higher quality match experience. Uh, not sure how to deal with this. Elbog trains well. He even improves a little bit. Does he speak Malay? Still basic. Um, let's have a look. Well. Just like Costa Lima, and he's out with a cold. What what was the question? No, that's okay. Form overall is good. Been a while since we talked to him. Yeah, there there have been tons of injuries. Obviously, yes. Um. Injury history for this season is, 
I guess given that we don't have a physio, this is fairly good. Oh, Diego. Um, no, Diego wasn't injured. Um, I don't think so. That's that's a good point, though. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Um, 38, no. Um, that was in August, and it, it uh, took him out for, for two days. So, not really. Um, there, ha there has been stuff, but at this point, he didn't decline. So, it happened recently. I actually think it's, uh, it's uh, another effect. So, my best guess here is that his... Um, uh, I think his potential ability... Um, no, not his potential. His ability reached the, the level, uh, his maximum level of, um, of current ability. So as a result, um, he was, due to all of the match experience, he was likely to improve and um, there was no potential left in him anymore. So uh, the game decided to knock off all of the attributes. That's something that happens. Yeah, so it will go back up again um, from that perspective. That said, um, he's, like, he's a regular player for us, but I would not say that he's perfect. That said, 6.98 is not that bad. Given the financial circumstances of the club, this is reasonable. And we pay him 230. He doesn't have big bonuses. It's fine. I'm okay with that money. Spend on a player like this that is uh, not hurt all the time. It's okay. He also offers some versatility. So, yeah. Um, I'm aware. Also, his personality was certainly an issue um, throughout his time with the club. He spent one season on loan, as you can see here, with Kelantan. Um, He's, he's not a Kevin Großkreuz type to me. Um, he never threw any food at the floor or something. Um, he's also not known to be... Um, hey, yet another member for the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a self-help group? Well, uh, well, I'm, I'm actually quite sure that it is a self-help group at this point. Uh, I, I guess Diego is not a good influence on the rest of the players, but he is a consistent performer overall for us it also says here but i'm i'm really basing this on uh, whatever he did on the pitch he's okay that said next season we might not have a central midfielder i don't know yet it really depends on what's available uh, his contract does not run out though anyway we were here and uh, apparently Apparently the person that just followed. Okay. The person that just followed dropped me a message and it seems like a sales pitch. Doesn't even watch the stream. Great. Um so what did we do with Diego? Yeah, but like I mean, that's that's part of the charm, isn't it? Um, so financially speaking, this stream is definitely nothing to uh, to value highly. Um, I think that the the best I get here is um the feedback from you guys. So I very much like that. And um, I, I recently found out that other streamers do not like backseat gaming. Um, not judging in any way. I just feel like that's exactly what I'm here for. Other opinions. I still do whatever the hell I want in the end. But I really do appreciate the opinions on, well, football manager stuff. Maybe also on my bad character or I don't know. But in general, I, I do like the feedback. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I insist on getting it. But to each their own, right? So um, that's why I, I try to uh, stream as much as I can, even though I don't have that much time. And also, um, well, I wouldn't want to continue this save without any 
exposure to feedback on stream. So I can't play football manager without you guys. At least not without putting it on the internet in some way. Good. Problem is morale declined quite a bit. Not even sure what happened. Did we lose against Saravak? Olex trains really well though. That's great. That's does one. Well man, you will need to be on the bench at least. Zakaria trains in a reasonable way now. That's good. I think I'll turn him into a Segunda Volante though next season. Well, maybe not next season only. Mamat? Oh! Didn't he decline recently? Who was the one that told me he likes a mod? One of you did. Was it Mies? Might have been. Actually, he, he improved quite a bit. Teamwork didn't. Hmm. In particular on the mental side. I think that's okay. <laughs> Alright. If you say so. Uh Ankun, how does he do? Great training. He wants a new contract, I think. Uh, that's also good. And Baru's nine point one five. What else? 8.9 for Chinsu Sum. With Infrudis. Okay. So, I do not think I want to give additional feedback to them. I'm too lazy now. Balanced mid block is fine. This is all good. Let's have a look at your position. That's what we're here for, after all. Sukri has really low communication skills, which is fantastic. Really low one-on-ones too. And his positioning is a 9. Mm. Bush is low. If we show him to the weaker foot, I, I don't think that matters though. Bad crossing. Passing's like Luster too. He's pacey. He has no jumping and no strength whatsoever. Great. Do we leave him open? And on seven points of passing, I think we can ignore him. Actually, most of these have somewhat reasonable passing that's interesting. Poor defender status. Uh, we'll not mark him tightly anyway. I think none of these needs to be marked tightly. We can press them later on. That's... I'm not sure if it's patience. So um it's I I could easily say you're welcome, but um I think it's the other way. Thank you for being the the patient person that I usually am myself. Um because it, it, it might not feel that way to you. I tend to spend tons of time on stream without doing anything. One and a half hours today. But Actually, if I play football manager solo, I tend to spend even more time on all of this stuff and fiddle with all of it. I like it. That's why I do it. So I didn't do it for you, if that makes sense. I just did do it because I wanted to. But your contribution is much appreciated. Yes, they have. And it's not the defenders. They apparently didn't play the friendlies that we did. I have no idea about this guy. He's a bit weak. Might be a good dribbler. I do not want to do anything in particular here. Passing 6 to 12 is probably higher than the rest of them. His passing's shit. His vision might be better. So I guess we mark him out of the match, right? He's also unsharp. Uh, I mean, not good. Strength is low. Vision is fairly low. But I still think the good passer should be marked out of the match. We have no idea about the feet. This is also a statement that is very... It's a, it's a very football manager specific thing. To have ideas about 
strong feet. Don't put that on the internet, otherwise. You think so? So, I, I guess your argument is he will not be a good dribbler because he's a DM. Then again, he has 1 to 5 points of dribbling. Uh, not dribbling, tackling. So, I would argue he's not a DM. At least not according to the skill set. I suspect he might be a good dribbler after all. Then again, his flair is really... I don't know what to do. To be honest, I have no idea. Yes, but he, he might be technically gifted. That's the issue. And we mark him tightly, so... um, It depends. Maybe we, maybe we get some additional information on him. That said, these are all 17-year-olds. He's 21. It's very similar. It's, it's a 4 centimeter difference. I, I get that. Never made a single appearance to, for them. You know what? Okay, if it makes you happy. Uh, well, um, have a nice evening, Grill Talk channel, and uh, we will uh, see each other soon. Monday, I guess, if you have time. You're always welcome. Yep, yeah, as I said, you're welcome. But I want to mark him out of the match. His first touch seems to be decent. His passing seems to be decent. So, from my perspective, I want to, to mark him tightly um, for him not to get uh, receive the ball at all. His off-the-ball movement might be really bad. I think that makes more sense. Because the, these here, he has 1 to 7 points of passing. He's really bad. Also, his first touch is low. So, as a result, I expect him to, um, to have problems uh, controlling the ball. So, we close him down. Hard tackle. <laughs> Uh, maybe an option too. He's 17 years old, so why not? Masrula. No idea. Not doing anything. Ramin. Dribbling 7. He's damn fucking pacey. Uh, attacking midfielder on the right. He's right footed. His crossing is shit. His passing is better. So, funnily enough, we show him to the outside, I guess. Still show him to the right foot, even though it's a strong foot. Yeah, I will have a second glance at the central defenders in a, in a second. Bad way to phrase it. Dribbling slow, bravery slow, strength is uh, inexistent. This is a case of a hard tackle if I've ever seen any. Very good off the ball movement, acceleration and pace. So, side marking won't work. Closing him down won't work because his compulsion first touch are exceptional. Um, Basically, if we get a hold of him, just elbow him to the face, it will work. But no specific instruction otherwise. So let's go back to the defenders for a second. He doesn't jump. He's also weak. He doesn't jump either, but he's not weak. He doesn't really jump either, but he's not weak. Maslan can dribble somehow and he's left for the down lace now. Definitely show him to the wicker foot. Will elbowing uh, everyone that is weak enough. So in this case, this one, this one, well, we barely know anything about these. But in particular, particular this guy. One point of strength. Yep, I, I think so. Uh, floated process, crosses make sense here. Um, there's an ad additional issue here. This guy's dribbling as... It's not a war tactic, it's just football manager. This is a regular thing. We don't care how they get off the pitch. It, it might also be with some bruises. Or, I don't know, a broken angle. I don't care. The opponent players are... I, I think this is fair. That's just the way it works. It's football after all. A contact sport. So... This guy's dribbling a 6. This guy's gripping though is really low. That said, he's strong enough. Again, low bravery and uh, strength are lackluster. So no, no, no specific instructions. Maybe here. 
maybe here. That makes sense. Well, um, y you know I'm not... Uh, how do I put this? I'm not exactly known for being a very volatile or very uh, aggressive person. So um, I'm usually very calm. At least I think I always was. It's just about a game, really. Okay, um, so what do we do now? Well, we go to the match, don't we? Loaded crosses, I forgot about that. See? It's late. At least in Germany. Uh, what else? Go down the wing seems reasonable too, given this formation. Is there an obvious weakness in defense? This guy's positioning is friggin' six points. He's really fast though. That's a nine. He's a 12, he's a 7. So, probably down the side of Ahmad. If Harsi can cope with this pace. And that's a big issue. Harsi's not known to be very fast. Acceleration is fine, pace is low though. So, I will not go down a specific wing, I think. Um, we should be somewhat better, usually, overall. So, let's see where this gets us. Oh, come on! Yes, Mahar Sir is in a perfect condition. He improved throughout the entire season. I'm quite confused by it. What did we tell them? Well, we need a win. That said, they usually don't react positively to that. So Make the advantage count, why not? And we will cautiously encourage everyone. By the way, does any one of you ever use the reluctant, like, gesture? I don't even know what to do with this. That wasn't cautiously. Okay, here's the recommended ad break. So, I will see you all in one and a half minutes, BRB, and then we'll go to the first half of the match, obviously. So, BRB. Alright. Drinking. Done. Also did a posture check, actually. I even opened the window and closed it back again. Because, well, it's approximately zero degrees outside. So, thank you very much for these. Now we'll do the match. Terrified United against Perak. At home so how, ma how many will watch this maybe 15 people oh that's more than 15 though 
Maybe they brought some supporters. We absolutely need to win this if we want to <laughs> if we want to go to the Asian Champions League. That's very unlikely though. Given Selangor's free matches in hand. It's game in hand. I don't know. Uh well. Fuck the league table. I want to be the not the match set. Yes, the match set. 464. And this is a great yellow card straight from the get-go. If he gets one. Give him a card that fits his his kit. You gotta be kidding me. That was a clear yellow card for me. Mothern seems to work for his new uh, for a new contract. Good pass. Yes. Yeah. But no. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Um, we can go a little bit wider, maybe. On the other hand, we do create chances. That's fine. That's not bad either. Hmm. I, I guess the question is, does he leave? He's out of contract since... forever. Not bad. Also, decent defending here. Arcee and Masrin seem to play well together too. For now. There's the cross. There's Elbog. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, these two goals definitely were interesting. Then again, there will be moments... Of, uh, assuming uh, <laughs> we will play for another 90 years, which obviously we will not, because a new installment of Football Manager will be there at some point. But um, from that perspective, I think there might be um, might be other moments that warranted even more. Then again, it was a great moment and it will probably be the one of the best moments of this installment of Football Manager for me. Well, for all of us, I guess. To a degree. Well worth watching. Yeah. Of your life. Wow. That's a big statement, man. Well, in that case, we should probably retire it. It's number 24, yes? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, we can live without number 24. You just need to stick around to remind me. I'm not good at this. And the older number feature probably won't care. By the way, we do not really absolutely dominate this match, but the chances created are on our side. For now. Is it... Oh, interesting. A good slide tackle, apparently. Well, now Mazarin's missing. Diego. Hmm. Okay. So, um, can we go a little bit wider? Sure. Let's try to stretch this a little bit, won't we? Also want to encourage the team, I forgot about that. 5 to 0 shots. Ibrahim has his name taken. Who is Ibrahim? Ibrahim is... What? Oh, here. Central defender. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So we don't have to do anything in particular about this, I think. He's offside. Of course. Performance overall is fine so far. By the way, we dropped to uh, second uh, in terms of goals conceded throughout the league season. I don't like that at all.
Nice one. And back to Zakaria. Now it's offside. Uh, well, we do work the ball into the box. To get some more clear, clear cut chances here. The quality of chances though so far is very low. I could try to remove that. Foul him? Don't foul him? That's also fine. Not bad. Interesting choice of a pass. Alright. That's not a counter-attacking situation. Not sure what's going on here. Well done, Diego. And back to the central defenders. That's a good pass by Ancon. Really gr great play. This might not be. I think I'll try to go down the wings now. Um, it, it didn't really show any potential to go through the middle so far. So maybe we can stretch play even a, a little bit further. That's a good foul. Good idea. Not even with a yellow card included. Very happy that he took that. Dangerous. Not dangerous. Offside. Great. Good pass by Mahazir. With his whole one point of passing. I'm impressed. Not impressed by this cross though. What do you think so far? I'm not sure if I should be excited or not. I mean, no chances whatsoever for them. We could try to increase the pressure a little bit. Well, that was close to being intercepted. That's a corner. We'll wait until the end of this corner. Board corners. There's some sort of a cross. And that's a good chance, isn't it? Nice chance here, son. Yep, so they had their first chance. I guess positive though isn't that bad. I'm not sure if work ball into the box is fine here. We usually play like this. But I'm not sure if it's the appropriate uh, game plan. We barely create any chances. So I would want to improve on that. Okay. I will, I fear the penalty. Ooh, interesting choice. Oh, I could have taken a shot. Damn. Mazarin didn't pick the run here. I don't know why. It was a good opportunity to go down all the way down the left for Mazarin.
Mahazir with a dribble. Interesting. That's better. That's not. The quality of the crosses today is... Uh, Ooh, a flick on by Mars here. Baru runs down the wide, but uh, down the right. He also runs down the wide. Why not? Nice shot by Zakaria. Sadly, eliminated by the goalkeeper. So, looking at this overall situation, we do not stretch play enough, I feel. Mazarin is basically on his own. No, there's, there's an opponent's player. Okay. So, he's covering the opponent. That's fine. It's just what we expect in the mirror match. Zakaria is there to dominate, uh, to dominate play here. So, he's always available as a passing station. I'm not sure if we ball into the box is fine here. And there's so like it, it's hard to pass into space here, isn't it? There's not much space behind them. We could try to do that, but I'm not sure if it will change the situation. I'm trying to come up with a change of tactics here. What would work? Obviously, contrib uh, committing the the fullbacks forward, that would work, but that comes with a big amount of risk. Well, either they track back and help, or, um... Okay. Was it, is it like this everywhere? Also, Baru, so Baru is really weak and uh, has no jumping reach whatsoever. And Harsh is basically the same. So we're talking about Elbuck specifically. But neither can our players. That's the issue. Well, these are not much better. So say we go more direct. They have no idea how to deal with this passing style though, man. I'd rather not. I think it's an, an interesting suggestion, but I'd rather not. We can also... So we barely created any chances. But we did. If we take off work ball into the box, maybe they force the issue a little bit more. I'm actually considering shoot on side or something. We could also try to um, pepper it with crosses. In fact, that's probably not a bad idea. So let's have a look. Baru knows how to cross. Arcee knows how to cross. Well, forget about early crosses. Um... Set pieces is also, well, it's corners and free kicks mostly. And we do create some, some jumping opportunities there. And the overlap, I do not think I want the overlap in this situation. Harsing's crossing is a little bit better. But we could try to find Mazarin here. But then uh, I would need to, um, to put Harsi maybe on a support duty and let him overlap. A little bit more. I guess I could do that. He can do winger on support, can't he? Mazarin going forward a little bit more. He still crosses more. That's a, that's a little bit weird. With a winger. But sure, we can try that. So, now I took off uh, work ball into the box. 
Hopefully they don't lose the ball too much though. If we realize that we lose possession, well actually we have 48% possession. I have no idea what they do with the ball. So I'll just tell them if it's not good enough. Yeah, it isn't. We didn't take the lead yet. Everybody's very motivated already, so we'll just try to encourage them. Ah, we need another break. I ramble too much. Sorry. Oh, um, they go down more easily. Sorry. Um, basically, how do I how do I do the uh, status? Um, they are looking for a contact. So in case there's, um, in case there's an, opp an opportunity to, cre to create a goal scoring chance, for example, they will rather go down than to um, try to play on. Um, diving is diving is at the extreme, I think. Um, there, yeah, but yeah, basically yes, they try to dive, in a way. But it's not only for for um penalties or something. Um, it's for. It, it's also for throw ins or something, uh, at least uh, as as far as I interpret it. They will prefer a set piece to keep in control of the ball, um, in in a more um traditional way. Because they know how they uh, how set pieces uh, will play out later on, so it's uh, useful if you have um, set piece instructions that are more dominating. It's also a way to control possession. So actually, controlling possession is more important to me. Anyway, um, thirty seconds afterwards, we'll watch the second half. Be a bit. All right, let's go. Oh, they subbed somebody. Maslan came off, Safri came on. Cool, so much for let's go. Who is Safri? He's fast. He has two points of positioning. Can we please get behind these people? Yeah, I guess we show him to the weaker foot. That's not bad. Well defended though. Alright. Sure. Now we'll go a little bit higher. Let's increase the pressure slightly. Well, the chance is there. It's just he needs to hit the goal actually with his heading. Wow. Wow! The free kick was not that impressive. The second attempt was way better. What a save by the goalkeeper. Barely, but what a save. It's another corner. We do deserve to score from this at this point, don't we? Another one saved. Maharsio's header was totally fine.
Elborg with another free kick. Will he shoot from this position? Oh, okay. They brought somebody off and somebody else on. Let's see. Second sub. Who are you? Oh, we know something about you. Apparently you're a good passer. So given that you're a good passer and your optimal movement is shitty, we will try to mark you out of the match. First touch is decent. Low strength. Dribbling might be a 6 or a 7. It's the second half of the match. Call him off the pitch. They play out of defense? Hmm. Apparently not very successfully though. That was dangerous. Creates a ton of space though. Please, Harsey. Finally. <sighs> Thank you very much for helping us. Now we only need to get this to 90 minute, 90 minute mark. That was good. Safri was on the pitch and his positioning of two really helped us, contributed a lot here, otherwise it would have been a clear offside situation. But he seemed to be way asleep. Oh! That's actually, it, it's not that much offside, funnily enough. He was just pacey enough to um, at least track back a little bit. I thought it was way more. But yeah, the defending was interesting. Well... I'm glad about it. <laughs> well done. Elbow towards Harsey with another header. Not too bad. Is this praiseworthy just yet? Not sure. RC... that's bad. Corner. And offside? It isn't. Ankun. Zakaria. Another one of these. Goalkeeper can't hold, keep hold of the ball. We lead the league! It doesn't matter. Delangor still have three matches in hand. Mahazir. The last one was way better. I'll continue play like this, won't I? Who got the yellow card? Oh, their striker apparently. Well, alright. Fresh faces into the game. We need to have a look at that. Right after this goal. Goal number 24 for Elburg. Well... I think that's it. This game's done, more or less. We should take the last 30 minutes seriously, but... I think we're fine. Alright. Who came on? That's the third sub for them, so they don't have any more sub breaks? No, they, they might have one additional sub. Well, two players, but one opportunity. That's really low bravery, really low dribbling, really low strength. And he's supposed to be a central defender. Holy shit, he can't jump. Neither can he. So, floating it all the way is definitely the way to go here. Do we have taller players that can contribute a little bit? Ankun's not really needed anymore, is he? McManamy is way taller. There you go. First sub of the match. Who else? He's a four point jumper. Five. Van Lalpeka is an eight. And we do. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Let's take off Parsi. I know he has a good match so far. Something like this. That contributes a little bit to presence in uh, in penalty area in general. It also opens up some space for Mazarin. I do not think we need to look for the overlap specifically though. Christopher still can cross. Christopher even can pass. So that should be fine. Is there anyone else? Well, the rest of them will stay in the back. I don't care about Hal about Halim's or Ghazali's progression. Are Singh neither? Not really. He is? Yeah. True. But I'm not so sure if I want to throw this match away. Given his whole three points of positioning and tackling, you know, I'd rather not. <laughs> so, we'll keep it like it is. And, well, hope is we score a third and uh, get this game behind us. Could also try to waste some time now. Then again, it worked fine. It worked well. And... Well played. Not well played. Wow. Not bad. We will start appraisals. Did I mention that I could waste time? I also think positive is not really needed anymore. Depends on what we think is more useful. In this situation, though, I'm not sure if we need to commit that much forward. On the other hand, the way we dominate the match, maybe that's exactly what we need. What was that? They really like their long balls, don't they? Good ball by Zakaria. Christopher, will he spot a good pass? Like enemy, not too bad. It's basically two strikers now. The way he commits forward. There's a gap here. Christopher's running straight into this space. McManamy is uh, he's in the in, in the backtracking phase. No, could have been better. See, he doesn't follow. We will take those two. <laughs> it's also alright. Okay. Not bad. So now we can definitely waste time, can't we? And we, we will keep the positive stuff on. Well, mm. in case of Van Lal Peko, I see a reason for it at least, given that he's faster, but more importantly, uh, basically to to um, be sure that Elbuck doesn't hurt himself. So I see the reason there. Um, might also use a mod actually. He's pacey too. Hmm. Yeah. I think I I I will use a mod here. I think a mod has a better option to to be um, well around the club in the future. Uh, on the other hand, we can actually do both. Uh, Van Lalpeka can't cross. I don't care. Let's bring him for Baru. There's not much of a reason to run Baru into the ground. And we'll just put him on uh, inverted winger duty too, even though he's right-footed. I don't care. 
maybe even inside forward actually. Uh, similarly to Da Costa Lima. So that leaves us with Singh or Madnor. Well, to be honest, I think Madnor is more likely to stay. So I would want him to get some match experience. I don't think Singh will, will stay or need a match experience, to be honest. So, him for Fakrula, maybe? I will not take off Mahaz here. And it's still 30 minutes, but 3 gold. Even with a, with a replacement and central defense, I don't think that's possible. Or at least I suspect it's unlikely. And by the way, Amat can change Amat's role, can't we? He doesn't know how to dribble. Oh, like this. Oh! Wow. Wow. How? That's quite impressive not to hit the back of the net with, with a chance like this. Okay. Good header. McManamy with a decent pass. Van Lalpeka straight through the middle. Christopher Mazarin. Well, doesn't really create the space in the way I wanted it to create some, but we have this. Also, the floated crosses are absurdly useless now. We can go back to mixed, because Amat is not that tall, is he? And even if he is, he's not strong. He's a five-point jumper with three points of strength. So, yeah. Actually, go for pace now. We might even use low crosses. Or just mix it up. Well done. That's all right. Back to Zakaria. Come on. And we have a four. It's Perak after we're all. Don't lose the ball. That's okay. Nice long ball by Zakaria, floated cross, and we get a corner. Great! Let's make it four, Wibbly. Mazarin, Zakaria, there we go. Mod Faisal Matnor with a first goal for the club. To be fair, it would have been really hard not to score from that position. And he also got really lucky. Still, very happy for the youngster. Now he's what? He would have preferred to stay on the bench. Oh, fuck off. I'll just continue praising them. Even though um, Badrul Hisham, for example, is already complacent. But it still works. This is why we play for set pieces, by the way. I hope it shows. And we do waste time since 20 minutes, I think. The issue with going more defensive, I'm not sure. Well, I, I guess we could. So if we go defensive, it just means the they rules are interpreted in a more defensive manner. But this is useful in this situation. We absolutely dominate the match. I don't care about a fifth goal. I care about the fact that we we might um, actually give away some chances. And I'm not so sure if going defensive helps in that regard. 
Nah, I'll keep it like, like it is. If we concede, you can blame it on me later. Okay? But I think we actually keep him busy like this. So, I prefer it for now. And to be honest, I do not want them to to be invited to close us down, uh, to to break us down. So let's just continue scoring like this. Totally fine. I like all of these corners. I like the fifth goal. It helps with development. <laughs> not sure what's going on there, though. Five goals, it's great. It's, it's probably way too late to have any impact in the league, sadly. Run, run, run. You're too slow. Run faster. That's fine. Decent pass. Ooh. Interesting tackle. Christopher cuts it side a little bit, finds Vandal Pekagoit, or however you pronounce it. That's not bad. Could be a corner. Ugh, 24 to 2 shots. I didn't expect that. It's way too late in the season, though. <laughs> Could have been a sixth. Well. For whom? For Zakaria. Come on. He's way exhausted now. And that's another corner. Can we get a sixth goal? The press will probably write it's well deserved. Apparently not. That's fine. Take the yellow card. It's okay. The Langor is... The Langor doesn't play. So, no. They don't. League table says we are number one and Selangor doesn't play. They have four matches in hand now. So, we put a lot of pressure on them, given that we have a two-point lead now. They need one win to, to take over the lead again. This is... Uh, I doubt that this will matter. In particular, given that they are still within most of the competitions, uh, the cup competition stuff and so on, so they will be fairly sharp in comparison to the rest of the league. So Langor will, will be champions again. I don't think we will be get there. Yeah, well, it was fantastic. That's true. And they deserve all the praises. The problem is the complacency now, but on the other hand, it's... Uh, close to the end of the season, and the results barely matter, any matter anymore, so that's fine. Um, 25 to 2 shots is great, expected goals, that speaks for itself. All good, possession is great. Apparently I inspired them to remain unbeaten. Okay. okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. It's a good idea. Actually, cookie. Well, thank you very much for giving me one. So, Elbach scored again. He's sitting at 24 goals now. Next match is. Let me snooze this. Next match is. Ways away against armed forces at the end of November. We have. Three friend friendlies in between.
Okay, okay. So, where was I? Is it Thanksgiving at some point? No, Thanksgiving is earlier, right? What What is the turkey reference for? We don't celebrate Victory Thanksgiving, screech! by the way. <laughs> These stickers are way too much. Uh, when is Thanksgiving? <laughs> the fourth, the fourth Thursday in November. Okay, so yeah, I I got that right. I don't deserve this. This is not fair. Why would you do that to me? Anyway, I should wrap up the stream. This is, it's all right. We got it. We got a win. Let's save this. And um, I will continue this on Monday, most likely. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the stickers. Thanks for keeping me company and uh, making this a fun experience. I will see you all on Monday. Um, 18.30, usually. You know how it is. And, uh, well, good day to Jared Nullet and uh, sleep well to the rest of you. Um, in case it's the middle of the night. Ouch. Bye.